Welcome to Aaron's Anomalies. We are showing you puzzles that may not look super awesome, but have a sweet move or an awesome solution or something really unique about them as picked by Aaron here. So Aaron, what do you got for us today? So today we're going to be taking a look at Frame Jigsaw. This is from Jean-Claude Constantine Puzzles and is a level eight on the Puzzle Master difficulty scale. This looks cool. Like a, this almost reminds me of like uh, one of the US Aka ones, Jigsaw 1929, but it has like this cut out here in the middle, hey? Yeah, it totally feels like that for sure. It's kind of like a cross between a packing puzzle. I think it has, I feel like it has a little bit of burr in there. Oh, really? Now, what I mean by that is there's a sequence to assembly that you have to do because these nubs, these uh, internal nubs, you can't actually get at them right. to put in pieces. Now, it's hard to see on camera here, but there is like a, there's an acrylic kind of around the outside here. So there's little squares open on the inside. And then there's an acrylic frame on the outside that doesn't let you access those pieces. And obviously doesn't let, oh, it does let some of them pull out. Yeah, some of them do. But <laughs> if there's a nub, you have to actually slide it. There's lots of sliding in this puzzle. Right. And so obviously the point is to get this piece, piece into the frame and there's yep. an open spot here in the corner. Yep. Okay. So how do we do that? Well, we have to dump pieces. You dump them to start. Okay. Yeah, this isn't going to be the solution. And so this, this is what you're talking about though here is that you can't pull. Yeah, you that. can't pull and you also can't put it in. So you have to like slide that forward uh -huh. to actually yeah. get this out. Okay, now hold on. The starting orientation is not the solution. Yeah, you're going to end up taking all of this out. Do you want to walk through the solution at all, or uh, we don't let's, have to. let's not? It might be a little long for this segment. We can show, like, we can just show the movement here, like it. Yeah, some things movement slide. where it's like, yeah, you got to move this out. And <laughs> the solution's very much like that, where you're going to be doing lots of sliding and like, oh, I got to put this piece in. in first, and then slide it, and then slide it back later to put the next piece in. And, right. But it is quite difficult. Huh? I would not like honestly. At first glance, this puzzle seems like it actually shouldn't be that hard. And I guess one other thing to note is these aren't like specific to any piece. Like these are all the same piece. They can slot into any other pieces. Well, yes and no though, because this one's different, right? There's some ones that only have one nub on them. Oh yeah, no, I mean but like it's not like keyed specifically. I see like, what you mean. So it's not like, like an a, actual jigsaw, right? Movie, like jigsaw twenty. Right, where each piece that. is unique into one space. Yeah. Gotcha. Now. My question would be now, would okay, if I'm doing this puzzle from scratch, would I want to take everything out maybe and try assemble it on the table outside of the frame and then work to get it back in the frame? You could. You could. That was uh, what you ended up doing with the teat pack. It's a very similar process where sometimes it's easier to figure out what you can do outside and then try to figure out yeah. the sequence of assembling. Yeah, exactly. You're, you're assembling it outside. And then, so that would work with this, you think? Like, yeah, I think that would be a reasonable thing to do. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. Because it's, yeah, it's time consuming to take all the pieces out and put them back in. It's a very involved. Essentially, I guess deal. Like, there isn't, there isn't more than, um, so like you, you might actually find a solution that would fit all the pieces in here probably relatively easily, but then it becomes a bigger issue of actually, how do I get those pieces in because of this square? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So is, is there only one solution? Or is there yes, only one? There's or only there's one not way. Like, I could see like multiple solutions. At least uh, that granted, that's as far as I know, maybe there is hmm. more than one way, but really? I only have seen one solution and it was hard come by. Huh, cool. Well, that's that's really neat, actually. I, I like this, but I like the jigsaw process too. Like just that, I don't know, there's something satisfying with these dropping in there. And yep. it's the same way as the Uesaka stuff is, right? So. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Frame jigsaw, I like that. What's, okay, what's this bottom, bottom part? Hajime. Katsumoto? There's a word I'm here. assuming that's the designer. Yeah, I would assume that's the designer too. That's cool. Huh. And this is this is Jean Claude, you said, right? Yep, Jean Claude Constantine. Frame Jigsaw level eight. Yep. All right. Awesome. I like that. Good puzzle. Thank you, Aaron. No problem. 